Another major story tonight, the steep drop on Wall Street today, closing down more than 800 points. And the warning, the key indicator that happened today that has foreshadowed recessions before, what's called an inverted yield curve, essentially when the yield on a 10-year Treasury is lower than a two-year note. But bottom line here tonight, what you need to know is the last time this happened was in 2007, just before the Great Recession. The Dow plunging 800 points, down more than 3% in one day. President Trump tweeting, this is not the trade war with China that we're winning, instead blaming the Fed tonight. So what does this all mean for American families, the prices you pay at the store during this trade war, and what a downturn could mean for 401ks and jobs? ABC's chief business correspondent, Rebecca Jarvis, here tonight. Tonight, that sell-off on Wall Street, the Dow plunging 800 points, the worst day for stocks so far this year. Rattling investors, an escalating trade war with China, the negotiations stalled. Another factor, those protests in Hong Kong, a sign of China's willingness to dig in its heels. Tonight, President Trump on the defensive, insisting his trade war has not caused the market plunge. The president tweeting, China is not our problem. Our problem is with the Fed. But the Fed cut interest rates just last month, and the president has now backed off his threat to impose new tariffs on $300 billion of Chinese goods, everything from laptops to shoes to phones. So we're doing this for Christmas season. Just in case some of the tariffs would have an impact on U.S. customers, which so far they've had virtually none. But the pain already being felt by American farmers, like John Kiefner, who grows soybeans in Illinois. Soybeans China is no longer buying in retaliation. A lot of farmers are going to have to come up with alternative sources of income. And tonight, a new warning sign from the markets, that inverted yield curve, the yield on the 10-year Treasury bond dipping below the yield on the two-year for the first time since 2007. A signal a recession could be coming. If it were to stay in this condition for three to six months, then you will see people start to be much more concerned. So let's get right to Rebecca tonight because the president is tweeting that the economy is strong. He's blaming the Fed. But even if the Fed were to cut rates again, which they did just a couple of weeks ago for the first time in a decade, if they did it again, that still doesn't solve China and the other economies that are slowing. Well, and David, interest rates are already near historic lows. This is not a silver bullet. Remember, we live in a global economy. What other countries do also has an impact here. And unlike the Great Recession, world leaders are not working together to solve this problem in part because of the trade war. Another reason why this is so concerning. Rebecca, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.